Our team is Sekani, and the topic we chose for our final deliverable is team morale and how to boost it. The background for our team name is that Sekani is the literal Italian translation of six dogs. We came together on this team name through the fact that we all enjoyed Italian food and that all six of us owned a dog. And through some productive side chatter, we found another interesting similarity that when it came to our food tastes, that we each prefer Alfredo sauce to marinara sauce on any dish that we eat. And we often found ourselves at a loss for that spark that would make working together something to look forward to, opposed to another menial lecture, lecture session. So that's why we came up with the topic of team morale. To begin with, how do we define team morale? As a group, we decided on a definition of team morale being optimism, enthusiasm, and excitement within a group of coworkers with common business goals. Not this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option. Next, how is morale most properly raised in the team setting? Well, the primary key to raising morale in a team setting is honesty between the team members. Team honesty is key to equal opportunity and equal input to properly distribute work within the team. When work is properly distributed within the team, the team leader is more inclined to find the proper measures on how to motivate their members. And while honesty is important among the team members, make sure that honesty is positive with there being words of encouragement and making sure that you're supporting members that may feel outcasted or personally feeling down and not motivated to complete the distributed workload. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. All right, for 5,000 points, I will let you tattoo whatever you want on the stern of the old SS Bernard. Oh. Here we go. All right. Really? All right, and you are totally serious. Swear to God, hope to die. Now let's get to work. Wait, but you did say we could pool our points, right? In that case, let's get to work. Guys. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> As shown in the clip, the office decided to pool all their points together and work in a collaborative fashion. One of the biggest blows to morale in a team setting is a failure or a setback. Nothing tends to get people down more than when all the work they put in seems to be leading them nowhere. An alternative look on failures that could help improve team morale is to consider failures as a form of teams finding errors and turning that into a success plan for future accomplishments. And failures also allow teams to re-establish confidence in a new strategy and see things from a different point of view. As Winston Churchill said, success is all about going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Finally, we were asked to come up with two practical solutions that could help teams find a way to boost morale. The first one, as pointed in the earlier clip relating to the office, could be a point system that uses positive reinforcement and rewards that advocate for teamwork that benefits the group as a whole. The second option would be to have a whiteboard, chalkboard, or other board within a central team meeting space that outlines a major failure or setback the team faced and how they plan to approach or remedy said setback. This will be a constant reminder that their efforts are not in vain and help improve team morale by showing that the failure is not a permanent setback.